1st of September 1941, probably the most graphic representation of a pocket. Uh, uh, there's the before and after uh, video. So, uh, most of them are true. Empty, a ghost town. Uh, we conducted the breakout, and that breakout resulted in the loss of a significant number of units. That would be these forces down here, that you can see. And the resultant uh, return schedule for everybody is here. You can see uh, we have a significant number of folks returning uh, six and five turns later. Uh, so late September. Uh, this is going to impact play significantly. Uh, you can see the entire remnant of the Commonwealth forces. That's it, sitting right there. And uh, uh, my gut feel is at this point that we have concluded another campaign with uh, what I would probably call you know, another significant victory. Once again, we're in the same situation where, if we're good or bad, uh, there are not a lot of forces to uh, be returned to the table uh, in a timely manner, nor are there enough reinforcements coming in to kind of supplement or replace what has been lost. Uh, with the deduction of two, four, five brigades, an artillery battalion, and uh, you know some, some. Uh, yeah, these guys here. That's the King's Royal, Royal something from Seventh Armoured. Uh, that's a non-replaceable unit anyway. So he goes off the board. Uh, you know, we look at these guys over here. This is the this is the lost stack. You know, you know, I'm not generating enough packs to, <laughs> and equipment to replace these guys fast enough. So I, I think it's done, and I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's the as the Allied player, the Commonwealth player, I'm having a really hard time. Uh, maybe I'm, I, I'm maybe I'm choosing the wrong place to try and defend. Uh, but once we once we clear away the debris here, I'll show you the defensive line. In fact, maybe we can do it now. Where are my tweezers? So this is uh, from here, right along here, except for that hex. This all of this to here excluding those two hexes. And all along here, uh, and even this hex, hex side, that's all escarpment, which you cannot attack across unless you go across a road. So this hex becomes incredibly valuable, right? I can't build more than a one hedgehog, so it is what it is there, and I, I held that against several attacks. So we did a good job there. And I had uh, fairly strong forces in here. But the one-two punch, uh, of uh, artillery, air, then combined with uh, a you know physical a physical attack and then uh, potential overrun attacks. Uh, I took a couple. Of, I took a couple of turns. I mean, this time the Germans lost a lot more units. So I can see two, four, six, eight battalions or regiments over there on the lost pile. And oh, you know, it's a big stack of battalions lost. But the attack, they've also uh, the guys, the Axis players roll really well for recovery for extra units um, uh, replacements, is what I'm trying to say. And that uh, that I think that made a lot of the difference because I was able to very quickly uh, once I got the replacements onto the board, uh, the the packs and the equipment onto the board, I was able to really quickly uh, generate new units and get them back into the fight. Uh, here's where the HQ is. Uh, where are you? He's way back there, isn't he? Let's zoom out a little bit. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is here. That's our HQ all the way over there. Uh, you know, he's throwing supply forward and uh, feeding the troops. And, you know, where it's re it was really hard to keep supply, you know, uh, for this force to stay active, uh, and we would have to have hiatuses where we took, you know, a turn or two turns and just sat back and uh, defended ourselves from a couple of uh, counterattacks from the Commonwealth, which admittedly were pretty feeble, and uh, and even when they weren't feeble, the, the die rolling was really bad. Uh, so I guess I'm going to notch this up to two two victories for. Uh, 
Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. Uh, two victories for the Axis at this point. Uh, I'm thinking I might, I might try and actually pop this video up now uh, as opposed to waiting to put it in the sequence for the full AAR. Uh, just to kind of get some people's feedback and see what they think. This big stack here, that's all trucks. Uh, you know, there's one unit here. And I've got three naughty little ding-dongs uh, sitting here. But it's, uh, you know, the fighting forces are here and there's low ammo. Low ammo. Uh, now the bad thing here, they captured the trucks, so I just haven't swapped them out yet. Didn't see the point. So I've only got, uh, shoot. That's armor. I think I've only got three or four or five. Uh, wow, I have five brigades left. Just had my ass kicked from one end of the desert to the other. And uh, lost the headquarters. I can't throw. I can't throw. So I've got to pull back. Uh, I'm going to have to barely in supply for the armor. There's armor here, which I just I fueled up. Uh, and then um, I've got some guys in here that need throw. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can make it. So I can get some supply up to there. Rough. Yeah, it's some one ASP there. Rough, rough, rough. All right, we'll get this up. Maybe we can have a little commentary about it on uh, on Facebook or BGG. We'll talk soon. Ciao.